What's up, y'all? Willie Thomas back with another video. Um, I got a nice little haul here. Uh, one from yesterday from the local shop, and then one eBay order, and then two of them are a local like uh, Facebook Marketplace buy. So we'll get right into that. I'll go with the what we got yesterday from the LCS. Uh, most of them were like books that were new from recent. Oh, that came out recently, so I'll just show this off first. So I got Star Wars The High Republic, number one. Oh, excuse me, number four, not number one. Um, there we go. Okay, so number four. Haven't read it yet, plan on reading it today. I'll probably get right into that. Excuse me. Uh, Star Wars The High Republic, number four, variant edition. This is my second High Republic variant. I only have this and then the Walmart uh, three pack variant for the number one. I don't have any other. I, I bought a variant for number three, but it never came in. So I had a, I'm trying to currently get my money back because I ordered it like two months ago and it's never come in yet. Uh, Dr. Afro number eight. Star Wars Adventures number four. Tales of Villainy. With the Wookiees on the cover. Pretty cool book. Star Wars Bounty Hunters number 10. This uh, Bounty Hunters, um, what's it called? It looks like Dirge is going to be appearing uh, are going to be canonized again, so I know that Republic 52 blew up. It was already a pretty hot book, but 51 is so expensive now. Uh, sorry, my phone gave me a notification. Um, but yeah, 51 is so expensive now, and I regret not spending a little bit of money to get the uh, um, new stand editions of those books. It, there was an eBay auction, and I was like, I don't really want to spend that much money. I already have them, but I want the newsstands. But now I wish I had. But uh, it's all good. It's part of the game. Star Wars Bounty Hunters number 10, the Empire Strikes Back 40th anniversary variant. And Cloud City. And these were just like some back issue buys. So I got Dr. Aphra number 25, the Galactic Icons variant. I think Dr. Afro will be, has to appear in, you know, Disney Plus or something. So I think this is a pretty, it was just a variant I didn't have, so I figured I'd get it. And then these next two were a pretty good deal. I don't know how much this one goes for, but this is Darth Vader 25, uh, C-3PO, Galactic Icons variant, but this is the cameo of Ahsoka that just kind of blew up recently. Um, this is the 2017 Charles Soul. Uh, issue, uh, run issue. So this is the one right here. This is out of like twenty to twenty-five bucks. I got it for five. You can see, and I think this, yeah, this has like an Ahsoka Atano appearance. So got both of those for pretty cheap. And then let's go into this. So this was a lo excuse me, a local buy. Um, Saw this on Facebook Marketplace and I had to pick it up because it was a, I thought it was a really good deal. Both are kind of low grade, nothing crazy, but for what I paid, I had to do it. Um, I paid twenty dollars for these two books. So this is Star Wars number six. Again, pretty, you know, not a super high grade, but an important book. Last A New Hope adaptation, all that good stuff. Newsstand, um, you know, cool classic cover. Of, Darth Vader battling Luke Skywalker. I got that, and then I got uh, Star Wars 43, the first appearance of Lando. I got both of those for 20 bucks. And it's in a Mylar, so it looks real fancy. It's not, it's like a mid-grade, it's not, you know, super low-grade. This actually looks better than that one, but it is still not a high-grade book. But again, first appearance of Lando, you know, I can't, I, I, had, I had to get that. Couldn't, couldn't, you know, let that go. It was so close to me. 
And then last but not least, this was an eBay order. Sorry about the video cut out again. Um, but yeah, so the last book I got was an eBay order. I paid 70 bucks for it and it was a steal. So, you know, I paid less than half of what it goes for so I could make money off it. it was Star Wars Jedi Mace Windu, First Asajj Ventress. Everyone's seen this book on this channel quite a few times. Uh, but yeah, it's like my fifth copy of it. Um, I'm gonna end up flipping it. I think I wanna do my comic book booth that I did way back when again. Um, I did it, you know, just for fun. I made a little bit of money, uh, nothing crazy, but at the time, Star Wars comics weren't even that popular. So I ended up not really selling any Star Wars comics at all, like three, I think in total. And I had quite a few boxes full of comics and uh, sold some toys, it was most of the toys I sold. Um, but I think I'm gonna, I learned a lot. I think I'm gonna have a better understanding of it now. Um, I wanna do that in the future when I get out of the army, so I'm preparing for it. What kind of revived that dream was two things. One, um, I just got a collection of action figures, like 70 action figures it was. Uh, some of them were junk, like 20 of them weren't really, you know, were nothing. But uh, I got, well, I don't wanna say that. Some of them weren't really anything, it wasn't really anything, nothing special, but the 30 clone troopers, 10 Imperial troopers, the other 10 random, like Boba Fett, Jango Fett, Darth Vader, Count Dooku, some of them were pretty cool. Um, and then the four really nice figures, Kirk Kanos, Connor Jax, uh, uh, Jodo Cast, and Ron Koda, those were the nicer figures, of those four. Um, just, I think it'd be cool, you know, again, I enjoyed it last time. Also, I have a lot of, I have a lot of multiples of comics. I'm always going to buy the comic if I can get a good deal on it. Um, but I don't need five copies of Jedi Mace Windu 1, so my plan was to, or my plan is to basically just, I just want a, a, every variant or version of every com Star Wars comic, I want one of them. So. I have one direct and one, or I have four direct and one newsstand. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna keep it direct and a newsstand, and I don't need the other three uh, because I already, already have the comic. Plus, it'll I'll be able to afford other books that I don't have. I'll be able to get back the Thrawn one Matina variant that I used to have that I ended up trading off, which is unfortunate, but yeah, that happened way back when. Um, so yeah, I just don't need all the. I don't need the same book thirty times, so I'll probably end up selling some. And I wanted, I'm not, some of them I might do a little bit here and there, but I think for the most part I'm going to hold off uh, for a few years down the line so I can open up a comic book booth again. Because uh, that's, in my opinion, that's the most fun. Uh, that's way more fun selling it in person than trying to go through the hassle of shipping it on eBay and all that stuff. Uh, it's, that can be a pain in the ass. But, yeah, so all these, uh, Action figures. I ended up. I had. I still need to like go through and price them because some of the clones is a whole box full. Um, a lot of the. I showed this guy all the clones and Imperial troopers, and he said I paid. I paid ninety. He said I got a really good deal. He said that over time you could probably he could probably sell everything for three hundred seventy five bucks, and that's a rough estimate. Um, and I didn't even show him all the figures, and I was. But and he offered me two hundred twenty five bucks you know, for it, like right there. And I was like, ah, uh, I'll have to think about it, man. Um, I appreciate it, but I'm thinking I'm holding, I'm gonna end up selling them in the future on my, on my own. So I got a good deal on that, and that kind of revived the dream, or not the dream, but just you know, that. So that ought to be fun, I'm gonna be planning for that and preparing for that and whatnot. So, yeah, sorry for rambling, but Thanks for watching, a nice little haul, and I'll see y'all later.